All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. As you saw from the intro, I got my YouTube award. Very excited to open it. And um, yeah, I'm very pleased to have that. It's something I've thought about. It sounds funny, but I've seen other people doing these unboxing videos. And I always thought that if I got one that I wouldn't bother with doing something like that, but here you go. So it was quite exciting. I actually wanted to just share it with everybody so they could see me doing it. Cause I'm here at home in a uh, completely voluntary lockdown right now. It's not a lockdown, it just feels like one. Anyway guys, it's a five minute Friday, so let's put five minutes on the clock. I get a lot of comments uh, through the various different mediums. You know, I obviously get tons of comments on YouTube. I get people emailing me. I get uh, comments through Instagram. I, I read everything that I get. I don't reply to everything I get because if I did, I wouldn't have any time to do anything else. But uh, I do read everything. One of the things that I had a lot of people contacting me about was asking me what my opinion was of the UK government has uh, decided to go ahead building a new royal yacht. So uh, if you don't know the history, then we had uh, a royal yacht that was built back in the 1930s, built in the UK and it was used by the royal family for various different things. Obviously, sometimes it was just used to go and relax on, but also it was used to go out to the Commonwealth or the, the Empire, as it was known back then, and go out to different places of the Commonwealth and to, uh, for, for them to visit using that ship, right? Because back, back in the day, remember, commercial airlines and flights and stuff weren't available, so you travel by sea. Now, the vessel was retired uh, quite a long time ago, about 20 years ago, and it's now a permanent museum up in Scotland. But um, it's called the Royal Yacht Britannia, by the way. Ever since it was retired, Prince Philip, the late Prince Philip, was always going on about the fact that they should have a new Royal Yacht. Remember, Prince Philip was in the Royal Navy. Uh, he was in Royal Navy in, in World War II, decorated uh, veteran of, of World War II. He obviously loved being at sea and um, I'm actually watching The Crown right now and uh, I'm on season one because I'm behind and um, there's a lot of stuff in there about, about the vessel so it was really interesting. Anyway, the, the, the new Royal Yacht, I don't know an awful lot of detail right now but I just wanted to talk about the idea of a new Royal Yacht. Now, it's probably not going to surprise anybody to, think, to hear me say that I think it's a great idea. Um, why do I think it's a great idea? Because I think it, it, it's a great advertisement for Britain. So I get, I get a lot of criticisms uh, on, YouTube, on YouTube, on my videos, especially the gun videos from people who live in the US who don't like the videos that I made about guns at sea and stuff like that. I get a lot of criticism personally uh, and then they go on about freedoms that they have that I don't have because I'm a subject and all this stuff. Uh, criticizing the fact that we have a royal family. However, if you go to the Buckingham Palace and talk to anyone outside Buckingham Palace, they're American. So there's kind of a, like a double thing going on there. But anyway, um, I'm very for uh, the royal family having this vessel. I think it's a great thing for Britain, a great advertisement for Britain. I also think it's, it, it's a good training vessel. There's a lot of good reasons for it. That there'll be people putting comments that saying that oh they should spend that money on the NHS or spend it on this or that but the amount of money that they're going to spend on the ship uh, in relation to all of those other things is a very small amount and I think it will it will bring into the country more revenue than the cost of it going out like Buckingham Palace like go back to my example of Buckingham Palace it's always got tourists there right yeah, so uh, yeah, I think it's a great thing. Uh, I, I have no idea when it's going to be built. I, I know that there are a lot of uh, yacht companies trying to get the business for that, but I guarantee 100% it will be built, built in Britain. There's no way that royal family is going to travel around on a, on a yacht that was built in France or Italy or whatever. Okay, next story. This is another story that people have been contacting me about asking me about what, what I think of it. And it's about a 220 meter super yacht that is being built and it's going to be, you can buy an apartment on it. Uh, 
it does from the renditions that they've that they've put out it does look like a super yacht but it's not a super yacht i mean it, it, it's kind of like a super yacht uh, and i can see the appeal to it and if, and, and the uh, the apartments that you can buy are uh, they start at 10 million so yeah so i'm not going to be buying one anytime soon maybe in a couple of years when my youtube channel really takes off <laughs> But, um, so it's going to be 220 meters long. It's going to have 39 apartments on it. So let's assume that each apartment has two people and the apartments will probably have, they'll vary from studio apartments. If it's anything like the world, which is currently, it's been at sea for a decade, they'll have studio apartments and then they'll have like one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom apartments, right? So a three bedroom apartment is technically a six bedroom, a six person apartment, right? So the amount of people that can stay on it means that it will be registered as a passenger vessel, not as a super yacht. That's a technicality, I suppose. What would I buy an apartment on a super yacht, 220 meter super yacht, rather than spending 10 million on my own smaller, say 30 meter super yacht? That's a good question. Uh, the, the, the benefits of buying the apartment is the running costs will be much lower. Um, you'll still have to pay a certain amount every year towards the upkeep of the vessel, of course, but it will be certainly a lot less than having your own super yacht. But if I had 10 million to buy an apartment on this, would I buy that or would I spend the money on a super yacht? In a previous video, I said that if I had the money, if I had 40 million, I'd buy an apartment on the world. But they start at 1 million. So there's a massive difference between the prices. So, yeah. So, yeah, I think it's a good thing. I think it's interesting. I think, I think the price of the apartments will, there will most likely be um, investors who buy some of these things and then they'll allow other people to stay in them perhaps i don't know if it will be viable but i think it's a good idea yeah i think it's a good idea uh, i'll need to see more details before i can really make an opinion and the last story uh it's a bit of a down i shouldn't really have done it this one last actually uh it's about a chap called oleg berlakov and he was the owner of the super yacht moti yacht per uh, suit sailing yacht pearl should i say uh, if you've not seen it, massive sailing yacht uh, with uh, a mastered three-mast sailing yacht. And um, he recently died from COVID. Uh, it, was, it was actually put out as a press release by the company that uh, runs the super yacht or the sailing yacht. And so he died of, of COVID. And uh, they put out a press release and they said, it's with great sadness we announced the death of Oleg Ber Berlikov the visionary behind the building of Sailing Yacht Pearl. Sadly, Oleg passed away after a brief battle with COVID-19. It was his vision and desire to see yachts built in the future that had a far less damaging effect on the planet. Sailing Yacht Pearl has led the way for so many. As such, we believe Mr. Berlikov has been the inspiration for and has left a positive legacy for the world yachting community to follow. Rest in peace. So, okay guys, I'm gonna wrap it up here. I've got one more thing to say. I've got a, 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 a video that's gonna be coming out very soon. I'm gonna be talking about a celebrity who has ordered a super yacht. It's not, the, it's the last person I would have thought, um, but I've, uh, I just wanna confirm a couple of things first, but uh, look out for that video anyway. Uh, it'll be quite interesting. And I think that, providing they get it out quite soon, that I will actually be breaking this story. So stay tuned guys, uh, have a great weekend and I'll catch you soon. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and please give this video a thumbs up. All right guys, thanks and have a great weekend.